What's going on, family? This is your girl Sandy, and I am back with another video. How you doing? Um, I am back, and now I am excited because you know why? Finally, I have my first paycheck. Yes, 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 yes. Finally, my first paycheck since uh, maternity leave. Um, but I did not go back on Monday. I actually returned back on the Thursday. So I did not have a full paycheck, but I will let you guys know exactly what I got and what I had to do because um, I had a couple of things that I've noticed about these coming months. If you guys will take a little look here, it shows I have my next paycheck is not until the 19th. Um, I have rent, water, Xbox, credit card, my website, my phone bill, my car insurance, my car note, my gym membership is due beef all on this paycheck. So what did I do? You know, you guys know if you watch my previous videos that I had to survive off of my savings. So pretty much my taxes. Um, and I am happy that I did have some tax money left over. Um, so I will show you guys exactly how much everything came up to and go through how much my check was and then how much I had to take out of my savings. So I <clears throat> just wanna let you guys know, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss another video um yeah let's let's get to it because i was just really excited i was like can we finally get to the first paycheck yet <laughs> like can we get there can we get there all righty guys so i have a couple stickies and stuff for my for me for me hopefully you guys are doing good on this Actually, you know, I pre-record, so this is actually the weekend, but you know, you guys will not see this video until Monday, but I hope you guys are good. Um, just to recap really quick, um, I had, I did my debts and my debts totaled out to $55,810.44. Um, I cannot wait to go into this April budget to let you guys know what the actual amount you're actually going to see some of a lot of, because I have bills do on this one paycheck. So you guys are going to see, but I will do this in another video. And don't, don't you think I, I mean, don't think I don't have a candle burning cause I do. And actually it's the, uh, the mango, I mean the pineapple mango. So we got that burning and let's, let's just get into this video. I'm getting, I'm getting excited here. So excited. So, you know, I always, know how to calculate for my actual amount of bills you guys should be able to know by now how much percentage wise between all your taxes and everything that they take out of your paycheck plus your health insurance if you have that you should definitely know some type of okay if i know if i calculate this amount of days times this many hours i should know exactly how much i have so i was literally right on the money when I got my first paycheck. So I'm gonna show you guys here. Alrighty, so here we go here. I'm actually going to, you know what I do. I can't, I can't have that. And we need my buddy. Uh, yeah, we need him right there. <laughs> okay guys, let's get into the video. So I wanna show, um, once again for April, I've used the Shea Budgets kit. If you have not checked out, her um, kits please do so I'm going to link her on in the bottom um, so that way you can go and she do have a bomb made that's coming out a bomb so please go ahead and um, show some support show some love to her um, I'm always for the support and love so but I do want to point out something really quick guys I use the whole sheet of this one yes I'm excited about that and um i did not do like a budget review or income tracker because literally after these i'm walking into may and i did not know if i want to do that so what we will do because 
Um, this is the first paycheck, so what we're going to do is this. All right, starting pay. I'm going to take this washi strip here, and we're going to set it now. It's fun. Like I told you, I hate recording when I do this stuff <laughs> because it literally, like, I always mess up or whatever the case may be. But yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. So, okay. I don't know what it is. It's something about watching people put down stickers. That's like one of those, like, it's like a, I don't know. It's like a trigger. I don't know what it, I don't know. Is that triggered you guys? Do you like to watch people put stickers down? Like, <laughs> I don't know it's just I hate to call it like something like one of those ASMR things but it's just like oh yeah look at the way she put her stickers on oh oh that looks good oh okay anyway <laughs> I'm being weird okay so you guys know I'm always crazy in my videos so um you know I showed you guys about this uh, metallic markers um and I've been using them a lot, and I ain't gonna lie, I've been using them at work, and I need to quit because I ain't gonna have enough of what I want to use um, for the planner. So, I used, let's say, the blue one on this page, and then I used, um, I think this one was the purple, yeah, this was the purple one, and then I used the rose one for that. So I'm noticing I'm using like different colors and then this is not intentional. It's just one of those things that's just is what it is. So let's get into this video guys. Um, I'm not trying to waste any more time. So since we are looking at our first paycheck, I would love to do go, but I'm not doing go. Um, I'm thinking, uh, I don't know guys, what am I going to do? I'm not going to lie. This color is this silver is real silver like I don't I don't want to do this because if I if I do write in that one you might not be able to see it for real because the way the light is glaring yeah I don't want to risk that so mm, I did the blue let's let's do the rose let's do rose let's, let's keep it rose and plus on top of that I got the rose gold coils so <clears throat> So my starting balance here, you know what, I didn't even notice how starting balance, item, and amount. Ooh. Ooh. Do I, oh crap. Do I use the source, source? See what happened is, hold on. The bills and expenses thing is right there. Ooh. Is like right here so should I not use that right there oh, dag nabbit guys I might have messed up something I don't know if I want to use this here now oh I don't want to take it off oh I feel so bad this is like sticker um, abuse Sticker abuse, guys. Aw, oh, dag nabbit. Yes, I said that you dag nabbit sometimes. That is straight sticker abuse. Don't, I can't do that again, guys. That hurt my soul. Um, see, because, okay, it has category, item, amount, date, remaining balance. No, so, see, I like this total, but it's only got one total. Source, description, amount, and do. Let's do this, okay? This is <laughs> this is how we gonna do this. I don't wanna like, I'm gonna do like I just write them down, whatever, you know what I mean? We're gonna do that, but hold on, let me get, I forgot, let me get my ruler really quick. Okay guys, I am back. So it's, I'm just like, you know what? What I did was just put lines and I'm just gonna show, you know, what to build, the amount and I guess date, or maybe I won't write anything there. I don't know, we're gonna see. Um, and then also stretch it all the way down to the second page. So that way I don't have to do it again. Or I might just put something else here like a sticker or something. So anyway. <coughs> Let's get into the video, guys. So. Candle, you know my candle. I like my candle. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So the first things first is, um, of course, it sucks when you have your bigger 
um, payments and on, supposed to be on one check. And of course, all of my bills exceeded over my check and it still would have exceeded over my check either way. Um, so I would have had to get from my savings regardless. So we're gonna start and look, I'm starting from the top, guys. Right? Remember, I'll be like, I don't like starting from the top. We're gonna do this, okay? All right. First things first is rent. I mean, it's still, and it still kind of will be organized and neat. I'm just trying to keep the neatness, man. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so, and then the, oh, the water bill. Someone told me the other day that my water bill was like high and I was like, what? And he's like, oh, you must live, you know? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, it didn't, you know? I'm like, well, excuse me. I mean, I'm sorry that my water bill is $81. I mean, I don't think that's bad um, with three people living in my house, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I mean, we do shower every day <laughs> and wash clothes, not every day, but wash clothes at least once or twice a week. So, um yeah and i'm just going down the list of by days what everything is and what's due um xbox this is my credit card let me tell y'all something about my credit card that i just realized and you don't think of things nowadays when you signed up for memberships or whatever or when you have an issue making a payment, I'm gonna give you guys a quick story, okay? This is first progress credit. I, this is a secure credit card. I put two, 2,000, wow, huh? I put $200 on there. I'm trying to build my credit back up. So what happened was, when I went to go make a payment yesterday, I was not happy, okay? So let me tell y'all what happened in this case. I'm sorry, I put the pen down for a second. So I go to make a payment, I go online. They don't have an app, I go online, and it says, oh, to make a payment, set up bill pay on your, in your bank. So what I decided to do was, okay, all right, cool, but I just like, dang, it's not even due until Tuesday, and this is Friday, okay? So Friday, you know, I'm trying to make the payment, because when I do in the morning, when Friday comes, I literally get up in the morning, which I get up early anyway, and I pay my bills early in the morning. Sometimes it's a good thing and a bad thing about that. But uh, we're going to get into that later. So what happened was, let me sit down. <sighs> Woo. So what happened, sorry guys. <laughs> so what happened was I set up the bill pay. I have PNC as my main bank account. I have Chime as my second bank account. I do have a Cash App card, you know. I have those three to way to get my money you know what I mean I set up on bill pay and no problems finding you know who the pay is all that good stuff so then I went to go make the payment for the eighth I'm sorry but the date you enter is the earliest date that is not acceptable and I'm like what like something like that something along those lines and I'm like, what the heck do y'all, what are y'all talking about? So then I'm like, all right, let's try for the ninth, the actual day when it's due. Um, I'm sorry, but this date is the earliest date. You know, same message. I was like, okay, that's one down. What's another way? So I look at another way. And it showed um, another way is by check. Now it's Friday. They're not going to get this check on time. Nope. Cancel that out. Then another way was either go to a retailer uh, to make a payment, but of course you're probably going to be charged the retailer's fee, which is understandable, but I wasn't trying to do that, okay? Then I was like, maybe I can call in to make a payment. So I call in, make try to make this payment. And it gives me the whole, yes, you can make a payment with a representative, but it's going to be a $10 charge. I was like, At this moment, I'm through, okay? Because it's like, either way it go, I was looking at a charge or a fee. You know what I mean? Or a late fee. You know what I mean? So, I was not happy. <laughs> I was just not happy. So, I'm like, you know what? This is my first time making this payment. I just got this card in March. 
um i'm already that right there having an issue paying on a bill irritates me to no end because it feels like when i don't have the money you know what i mean then it's like whatever you get penalized now that i got this money why do i still like i feel i'm still getting penalized <laughs> you know like what the heck so that was in the morning so i waited until my lunch time to deal with it because i was just sitting there just thinking like i cannot believe it just will not go through so i called a lady you know she's very nice and i told her situation and you know i could tell i couldn't been the only one going through this you know so she was like you know what we're going to do is just waive the fee now my payment for the car was actually 39 dollars we rounded up 40 but i made a 50 dollar because i was literally willing to pay just just say i mean i'm sorry just say forget it <laughs> and just pay 60 you know what i mean my mind all i wanted to make was 50 dollars you know so everything went smooth but then except she's like um just want to let you know that it can take up to 10 days to process it and also with check it can take up to 10 days as well just to let you guys know that but i was just like okay so Oh, and then she also said because we was running into a weekend is the reason why it, the bank was acting like that. So in May, I looked in, at the calendar for May, and I was like, okay, what day, or what day does the 9th hit? So it's like Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm like, okay, so when I get paid the week prior to that, <laughs> I'm going to try it again, and we're going to see. I'm not going through this mess again, you know what I mean? Um, so... That's just, nah, I, I'm not feeling that. So anyway, I made a $50 payment yesterday. Um, and then the next thing is my website. I don't know if you guys know, but I do have a website and I am selling my artwork. If you're willing to look into that, I'll put also that information down below. Uh, my phone bill, now my phone bill consists of, and I am with Verizon, if you guys want to know that information, yes, I know Verizon is blah, 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 I don't want to hear it, okay? All right, so I've been with Verizon for over 18 years, and I'm not going to lie, they had made me upset a few times these last two years, so my contract is up in September of this year. I am paying on a phone and a iPad. So I got my iPhone and my iPad that I'm paying on, and I have unlimited plan. This is why my bill is this high, just to let you guys know that. Okay, my car um, insurance. Now my car insurance, renters. Car insurance and renters. Um, together is $230. And then, see here my car note Ugh. I shouldn't even have my car note and car insurance like close but it is what it is I have some exciting news about my car that I cannot wait to tell y'all but I'm gonna have to tell y'all on my budget review <laughs> so that's being another so stay tuned for that um, and then we have my planet fitness my gym membership um, which is $21.34 I'm trying to make sure that I keep actuals because I am a person that round everything up when I do that. Not saying it's a, it's a bad thing, but it's nice to, you know, expect probably more. Like I could just say, oh, you know, this round is up to $22. And that's what I usually do. But I'm trying to make sure I do the actual amount for you guys and then go from there. And, of course, I've also noticed I miss other stuff. So we're going to say car gas uh, for the week. And there's some new stuff I need to tell y'all about. But um, for the week, $20 a week. Like literally I get to work in like 10 minutes. But you know in the morning I do have to drop off my son um, before I go into work. And for groceries so far, um, I spent $50. And then like I said, I put what I put and then babe also gives me money on the side for that whatever he wants to give me he actually gave me 40 so so far in groceries we spent about almost well pretty much 90 dollars i'm not gonna say almost it's pretty much 90 dollars um and then last but not least i shouldn't even say last but not least because i need to put something else on here um 
grandma. Now, grandma is watching Prime, and my budget for her for the month is a hundred dollars, and babe pays the other. So she gets 50 a week. We pay her weekly. So that's how much she's getting to watch Prime. So that's something I just need to add into my budget now. So I'm adding this to this pay because I pretty much have met this $100 already between now. Well, no, it's just started to be April. So right now, yeah, I've already paid about $50 so far, but I'm just going to automatically just, I've already budgeted this out. So, so that's grandma. And yeah, that that's it. So, and I know I didn't tell you guys the total, so maybe that's what I'll do over here, cause I don't really plan any. Royalty, go sit down. Thank you. It's my dog. She's walking around. I know you guys can hear her nails. I have wooden floors, and the, I have a mixture of wooden floors and carpet. <laughs> so, um, let me see here. How do I want to do this? Should I just put it right here? I think I should. So the total amount for everything here is 107, I'm sorry, <laughs> 100, wow. $1,711 and one cent is the total for bills. Um, so what I did because I did not want to go over my budget, I just wanted to make sure that I am covered. So what I did was now my paycheck. So we're going to say my paycheck amount. It was. Yeah. So that was my paycheck amount. What I had budgeted was um, 600 even. Like that's how much I had put. Can you guys see that? I'm sorry. Um, 601.30 is what I had budgeted. Um, but I budgeted $600. So in meantime, be to wing time, <laughs> uh, remaining. I had to write that smaller than I wanted to, but that's okay. <clears throat> see, see, I utilize this side. See, that worked out. <laughs> so the remaining amount that I mean was, um, cause I didn't budget. So what I did, I budgeted at 600, not 60130. Uh, I feel like I'm giving you guys an accurate number. Where is my calculator? Oh my gosh. I don't have it with me. All right, guys, what I'm going to do, do not beat me up. Um, but anyway, the remaining that I had when it was $600 was $1,111 and one cent. Um, so this is how much I still needed to have. So that was my paycheck. Um, so then what I did, because I don't like to just get actuals because little stuff happened all the time. So just in case if I need to get any more food, I, I, now I'm trying to make sure that I spend money towards something important now. Um, baby boy got pictures coming up this weekend, actually. Um, that's, I'm not sure, but what I did was from my savings, I took out. 1200 of my savings so that relieved my total remaining of $88.99 so really if you want to say maybe $87 and well just, you know $87 about 60 some cents but anyway so that's how much that I was going to have you know left that's how much I should end with. But like me, if you guys don't know, I do roll over balances into like the next pay or whatever. But it's just nice to still have money in your account just in case if you need to have it. Now, last month, I'm going to let you guys know. Let me tell you what trouble I got into last month. It wasn't really trouble, but it was just, yeah. Um. So last month. You know how you guys have transfers. You can only transfer money so many times out of your savings. Well, I always had stuff going on where I kept transferring, saving, transferring, saving, transferring, savings. So the reason why I sat here was like, I'm going to do a no spend April is because how many times did I transfer money out of my savings into my checking? So at the end of the month of March, I locked my account up because <laughs> I took too many transfers 
I only get five in a month. And it was like stupid. And I'm not went, when I went back and looked to see what in the heck was I transferring? I mean, I'm talking about 50 bucks, 100 here. This is why I just need to just plan what I need work from there. You know, <laughs> that's it. So that's why I'm trying to make sure I always make sure I have at least some money left over. I'm not saying that, but you know, like I said, anything can happen, baby boy could need something. Actually, matter of fact, let's talk about that too. Prime formula is not cheap. Of course, we all know baby formula is not cheap. So I've had a gift card of $150 from Target that, um, that I got for Christmas. Um, so that money is nothing towards this. It's just the fact that that was strictly for him. So I brought three things of formula. I had to get some diapers. I got him like an outfit, more like sleep, you know, sleep stuff, you know, and it was fine. And then on top of that, at the end of the day, I also brought the outfit that I was talking about in my last video. I brought, I still have money left over on the gift card to buy him an outfit for his Easter pictures. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm, yeah, that's where I'm at at this moment. I'm not mad because I still have money left over, but it's a fact, like, I'm so tired of digging in my savings, guys. You guys have no idea. But let's go and talk about the, the plus sign on it. So, the plus, let me zoom out for you guys. The plus thing about, oh, let me get up for a second, crap. <clears throat> Always gotta like fix my camera thing, make sure y'all can see everything, you know, try to be proactive. So, I wanna show you guys something. Now, this is most of my bills, you know what I mean? So this, this is a big, this is a lot. So, now let's look at the paycheck. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so let's look at the, the paycheck for the 19th. Um, I have my gas, my electric, the internet bill, and my acorns. Like literally, that's all that I have left. I have another pay on the third, and that's when I'm gonna pay the rent and everything else with. But right now, whatever I get for the 19th, whatever bills that I pay remaining after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and whatever I have left from this paycheck, I'm adding it back to my savings. So that's what I am planning on doing. And then the, another good thing is for May, I have, it's not even done yet. I have three paychecks in May. So that worked out for me and that mean whatever I have left, I'm putting back in my savings. So now I'm back to the point of building my savings back up. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's where I'm at and that's what I'm going to be doing. And now that's my goal um, is building my savings back up. So, yeah we'll talk about this goals thing soon but um that pretty much concludes my video like i said if you guys have not subscribed please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss another video so that is my first paycheck guys so hopefully you guys had enjoy um this this video and um i still like the way it looks neat and that's my whole thing is try to make it look neater and clearer for you guys so i will see you guys in the next video we're going to be doing a second paycheck and also seeing about doing my sinking funds and cash envelopes for the first time um so stay tuned for that and uh thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one